Hey dolls, I'm Sheena and for now and welcome back to my channel. Brown eyes with brown lips is a go-to look for so many of us and I absolutely rock it from time to time. But a simple slight twist makes it as unique as you are. So let's get started, let's play. After priming my skin with my favorite Golan Le or Primer, I'm going with Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. And guys, it is one of the best cream foundations. It's full coverage, lasts all day for me and looks beautiful on camera. The problem is, it's not going to last you very long if you will use it every day. For $43, you get less than half an ounce and that's just laughable. To blend it perfectly, I always prefer a damn beauty blender. You can use a combination of kabuki and stippling brush and that will work just as well. I'm using Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. I used this concealer in my last tutorial as well. And that means I like this concealer. It really is very brightening and you don't need a lot. It covers very well just with a little and it dries very fast. So apply and blend rather than applying everywhere and blending later. Again, I'm using a damn beauty blender for it and I'm also using it to prime my eyelids for the shadows. Right now, I will only set my highlighted area. That is where I have applied the concealer. I'm leaving the rest of the face untouched without powder. Baking the concealed areas prevents it from creasing and you can visibly notice how smooth it looks when you bake. As an added bonus, it will also brighten. I was happily surprised by NYX Wonder Stick. I don't know why, I have never used this before. It is so easy to use and so creamy that I absolutely recommend it for everyday on-the-go use and for beginners. But again, you really don't get much product in here and if I use it every day, I'll surely finish it in less than a month. By the way, if you enjoy my videos and my content is helpful, please subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell so we never miss each other. Share it with your friends and family and all your girlfriends and boyfriends who love makeup as much as me and you. I'm going with red brows to, of course, match my red hair. You can totally color them black, brown or gray, depending on your hair color. 
Some of you who know me for a long time will know that four years back when I was blonde, red eyebrows were my everyday thing. It was my norm, and that was quite a phase. Anyway, getting back to the tutorial, if you have dark brows like me and you want to color them bright, it will be better if you can bleach them. Today my brows don't look as dark and it's cause they are bleached. You don't need to bleach them super white cause red is a very strong color. Just a 5-7 to seven minute bleach session with a 10 volume developer is enough if you want to go with red. If you want to go with pastel shades, you will need 15-17 to 17 minutes of bleach time. This eye makeup is so simple and fast that anyone can do it. You just need to be good at one thing, and that is blending. There is no shade name in the Juvia's Place Zulu palette, but I have tried all the shades that I will use. I'm blending out the transition as my first step using the pink shadow from the Zulu palette. Hold your brush far from the barrel. Apply just enough pressure for the color to show up and follow with back and forth movements. The second step is to build the lit color. This will be your star color as this is the color that will show the most. Every other color will be dancing around it. So choose the rest of the shadows that complements your main color well. Use a flat brush to pack the color strong and even. I'm also using a darker brown from the Kylie palette to define my crease and the outer V better. We are creating some depth with this color, but we have to be careful not to create strong lines because we still want it to look blended. World of make believe, kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. Some days I feel skinnier than I. I'm again using the pink color and blending it all the way up to my brows. But as you will see, I'm bringing it up only halfway across and not through and through the entire eye. So don't pick up a lot of color with your brush at once. Go slow and gradual. I'm using both the browns along my lower lash line and blending it very well. It's always useful to keep a clean blending brush with no product at all when you are smoking out the lower lash line or with blending in general. It helps to create a very airbrush blend. I'm creating a sort of wing liner moment with the shadows along the lower lash line. But even whilst doing so, I keep everything very blended and not overly sharp. I will highlight my inner corner and the brow bone with the shimmery green shadow from the Zulu palette. Highlighting the inner corner is one of the most transforming steps in any eye look and will make your makeup look profesh. I will finish my look with some black gel liner in my waterline and mascara on the lower lash and that's it. 
I always maintain heavy lash extensions, so I don't find the need to apply eyeliner or lashes. But feel free to go with them if lash extensions are not your thing. It will be lovely if you can take out some time to check me out on Instagram and follow me at sheenum underscore inferno. If you love colors, you will surely enjoy my account. All my videos and life updates are posted first on Instagram. So if you want to know me better, you know what to do now. You're an angel who's straight from the sky. When you wear the halo, it makes you fly. Sing. When she wrapped the halo, she light up the room Looks like you're so fatal, what was I to do? I'm just so grateful that I found you Ain't no girl that can make me smile more They say you found the one when she's worth fighting for If you remember, I had powdered only the highlighted parts of my face makeup And left the rest to dry naturally At this point, you can go with a slight dusting of powder all over As your creams have already set you don't need much powder at all. That will encourage your makeup to look more skin-like. Inglot blushes and cases are purchased separately and attaches magnetically. And all the shade names are behind their actual pants and not the cases. So I don't know the shade number I'm using. Basically, it's a deep, cool tone pink, with which I'm going all over my contour and along my hairline. I'm also dusting some on my nose and my chin and I'm using Wet n Wild Mega Glow as my highlight. Midnight, wasted, friends all around, faded, like we've got nothing to lose. Strangers in my sheets, wake up, rewind and repeat, but I'm still The idea is to coordinate the eye and the lip color, so use a rich brown liquid lipstick to complete the look. This is one of the easiest and most versatile looks for sure. You can make it very neutral and classic or go all pop and wild just by switching the color story. It's simple, quick and most importantly beautiful. In 2019, beauty is not in the eyes of the beholder. It is our own perception for ourselves. If you feel beautiful, you are beautiful. Point of view